welcome back to another episode of Ladder, where I'm, I'm back again with this crazy rental team. Um, that's got the Palace Sand and, well, it's, it's Palace Palace Sand with Water Shuriken, um, Excelgor. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, as we get Kafka here from Hawaii, who's also got a rental team with a drop on it. So this should be interesting. I think here, ooh, Lele Gengar could be good. I kind of, I kind of want to try that out actually, just cause. I kind of want to try that out. I think Palisand could be really good here, just because of the the Drampa. Actually, what can touch Palisand? Nothing, really. Do I just want to go Excel or Palisand? Right away? I'd definitely bring Lele, because I think it's just good. And then, do I want Charizard or... G I think Gengar. I'll have to watch out for a Trick Room, for sure. But I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright. We're doing it. Just to, also, I'm not sure what Drampa does on that team. Besides maybe just Cloud9 weather advantage. Cressida Drampa. Okay. Okay. Well, the good news is here, because this is not minimum speed uh, Palisand, you should be able to get our Amnesia up first. This is probably yeah, a cloud nine drop. It's probably minimum speed drop, so we should be able to get our thing up first. So go ahead and we'll just do do the dang thing. We'll just do the dang thing. My opponent doesn't really have any way to stop this. Ally switch. I'm fine with that. I don't care about that. Because what are you gonna go for here? So we get one. That's nice. It's twelve. There's our weakness policy, which is nice. Next one does 12. Okay, so, so let me point out, what, apparently Water Shuriken is special. For some reason, I thought it was physical. I don't know, I'm stupid. There you go. There's your reason. And, and we are faster than the Drampa. And no, no Trick Room either, so next turn, I mean, what's this thing going for? Hyper Voice? Flamethrower. We actually live. Oh, look at that. Um. Ooh, are you gonna ally switch again? No. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna do that, are you? That would just be silly. You're not gonna ally switch again, are you? Okay, good, you don't. So hopefully this will knock it out. I sure hope so. I'm not sure what Cristela's gonna go for. Ice Beam, okay, into, all right, that's fine, we live that. And this hopefully knocks it out, it's essentially plus four. Yeah, oh, that's fun, I like that. Uh, what, what's Drompa gonna do here? Energy Ball, okay. Okay. Well, something else has gotta come out here that um, can threaten Palisand, like a Charizard? Not even really that landerous. I don't know. Because basically, I can just protect Palisand and sack uh, landers. Okay. I can protect Palisand and sack the Excelgor. I actually could. Send in Lele. Actually, better idea. Let's go ahead and water shuriken this bad boy. Oh, we can't protect, can we? No. We'd have to shore up, huh? Yeah, okay, it's okay. We'll shore up here. What's it, what can it do, honestly? This is just for some damage. I don't know how much it's going to do. It's a decent amount. It actually does very decent damage. All things considered, it was very decent damage. 
Oh, it's Z move. Oh, it's flying. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, that'll probably knock out Palisade. Probably. But we know it's so we know it's not Scarf, and that's very important. Okay. But I mean, it doesn't even knock us out. <laughs> Oh, well, because we, we were what? Plus three, plus four defense? Oh, that's great. Hidden... Hidden power. What hidden power is that? Hidden power ground? What hidden power are you? Yeah, and I'm and basically at this point... I can just bring out Gengar. Truly. And just blast things with moves. Because you know it's, you know it's flying, so it's not... It's the flying zebra, so you know it's not... Assault Vest. Pretty free here to, uh... I think just attack. I could shore up again. I'd rather just get some damage on the Drompa, honestly. I mean, Landers might protect here. Worst thing, I guess, is if that was Hidden Power Ground. And that goes into Gengar, but I think we, we, we survived that, for sure. Landers protects. It's fine. Uh, we're we'll definitely gonna get some nice damage here with the what's it called? The Palisand. Earth Power. That's not even two shot. So I think it is hidden power ground. Yeah, it's hidden power ground. All right, that's fine. That's fine. And honestly, like I I, I could sit here and like protect whatever, but. I'm not gonna. Let's see if that was a, a damage roll on the Drompa. Who knows? Who knows? But I mean, this Shadow Ball should definitely knock out uh, Landorus for sure. It does not. Okay. Well, I'm an idiot. I guess you don't want to. I just assumed that would knock out. I guess you don't want to. What's it called? Dubita Hoobity. Alright, well, Gengar goes down. That's unfortunate. It's okay. The Landers is flying. For whatever reason. And we're about to lock ourselves into a move. I think we still have it. I think we're still fine. We're still fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's good. Let's see what else you have on this team. Um, Yeah. I can freely lock into Psychic, I think. I should have a Finny in the back. I just I wouldn't want to lock into into Moonblast and then Charizard come in. That's the thing. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and we'll Shadow Ball there. So Lele here probably gonna take a fly, but that's that's I. If it's into Palisand, then this is just this is Gucci City. Fly also has a chance to miss. Funnily enough, Fly is a garbage move. <laughs> it really is. Especially ever since they got rid of, like, since they added Poker Ride and now there's no really need for um, HMs like that. It's just, it's just a bad move. <sighs> oh, God. oh, it's Finny. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, we're gonna lose our terrain, but I'm pretty free here too, actually, and I'm going to Psychic and Shore up. Because if you want to protect or do something, whatever, I get health back. Um, and this, this might, depending on how it's built, might be a two shot, might not be. Okay, so it's Calm Mind Finny. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Just a bit. Just a bit. But I still think, I mean, it's, it's gonna have a berry though. So actually, I think because of that Calm Mind and the fact that we did an attack. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Which one's stronger? Do I want to Amnesia? Earth Power is stronger. I actually want to Amnesia, I think. My opponent here wants to make this difficult. This, this should not put it in berry range. Yeah. 
So if you want to call mine, fine. We'll amnesia. You're at plus two special attack and defense. Now I'm at plus four special defense. That's fine with me. You think you can take on my power, fan? And both of these have a chance to... Uh, Earth Power and Shadow Ball have a chance to... Uh, lower special defense. So that's good. That's also very good. And the... Oh, special defense. And there's the berry. But now you're at plus... You're going to be at plus two. Because you're at plus one now. Okay, well, eventually you got to start attacking, buddy. Like, I don't know what your plan is here. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. You're just wasting time. Like, I could have gotten a second battle, but you're just wasting time, so. Depending on. Ugh. That's annoying. We already got one special defense drop. And we're, we're gonna get the second one right here. I actually think these two. Uh, with, I think these two attacks knock out no matter what. Yeah. So you'd have to get an accuracy drop here. Because I'm, I'm gonna live this muddy water. Okay, there we go. Game over. Woo! Fun times. Way to waste our time with that nonsense. <laughs> That's okay. I can't be too mad because I actually, I won. Uh, there was a game at Dallas Regional, so I ended up winning. It was like four turns out, and I was like, oh, God, I'm going to lose this game. The only way I win this game is if I, I call mine this turn, Muddy Water next turn, get a accuracy drop on both their Lele and Metacross, and then... And then what was it? Yeah, eh, I had to do that. And then, like, one of them had to miss the next turn. At least one of them had to miss the next turn as I muddy watered again. And that's exactly what happened. Actually, I have that game somewhere. I should upload that for you guys. That was that was a fun game. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but it is a good example of playing to your win condition even when, um, you know, you're, it looks like it's over. So that was, it was good, though. Um, the guy I played, uh, Sean Ban, he was, he was pretty pretty swell dude, too. He, I mean, his team hard countered my Venusaur team, because he had not only had Lele and Metagross, which is just annoying, but he also had uh, Life Orb Blaziken, which just ripped through my team. And I had nothing for it. So, yeah. All right. Woo. We got... What's that? What does that say? One at... Uh, and oh my god, this team. Oh, there's a Toga Kiss, so that's cool. Um, we see Kangaskhan, Vegas Slash, which is annoying. Zapdos, Landris, Feeny, Toga Kiss. So Palisand could be good here. I also think that Gengar could be pretty, pretty good here. Pretty good here. You know what? We might lose this, but I kind of want to go. Gengar Lele. I also kind of want to go Coma O, but that's probably not great, actually. That's probably a terrible idea. Bring Charizard. That means I gotta get rid of that that Landorus. Do I want Excelgore? Do I even want Excelgore? Hmm. I think I might, but I don't know. I like I usually I, I don't like to bring Excelgore unless I'm gonna lead it, you know. I might want to bring Como, as weird as it sounds. Nah, no. Nah. I'll bring the bug. I bring the bug. It's gonna be strange. That I'm not leading it, but I want I want it because I think it's still good. I just don't want to lead it. and then like have to like if, if Kangaskhan probably leads here if it's like Kangaskhan Zapdos I don't want to have to lead into something and then like immediately have to fake out like well they fake out and I have to protect I want to force them to also make a play Kangaskhan Aegis Slash alright that's fine that should be fine that should be fine because what we gonna do and this might be bad because I'll end up actually. Well, it will limit the. I'm gonna gravity here. I'm gonna put the. Aegislash to sleep. 
because Kangaskhan can't touch uh, Gengar. So Kangaskhan wants to try and fake out here. Something Kangaskhan might honestly want to switch out here into something else, like a Finny. But no matter what, these things are going to be... Well, Age Slash won't be trapped in because it's a ghost type. But I'm going to put it to sleep, which is nice. And then I'll end up switching out Lele this next turn, for sure. Because, you know, I don't want to Scarf Lock into... into gravity. <laughs> but it'll be fun. Let's try Age Slash. Okay, so something's taking a turn here. Top of Finny, okay. What are you trying to... Are you trying to fake out my, uh... My Gengar? Scrappy fake out Gengar? It's Misty Seed Tapu Fini. Okay. That's interesting. I think Barry's better, but alright. So what's uh, Kangaskhan going for? It's Mega Evolving, so it must be... Maybe trying to fake out. No, I can't put the... I can't put the Finny to sleep now because of the... Uh, the Misty Terrain. So that kind of works out really well. I don't know if that was intentional. But hey, what you gonna do? Or maybe my opponent here knows about the team. Well, that was bad. Alright, well here comes my, uh, my Charizard. So now I'm just gonna start s shooting off attacks. <laughs> but I think that Although actually, you know, this is this is a fairly popular Japanese team, so I guess my opponent probably wouldn't know about it. Problem is that now I'm kind of stuck here with a regular Charizard. <laughs> oh boy, it's bad. We'll go ahead and we'll just we'll just overheat the Kings. <laughs> there was there was some some lack in judgment calls. I thought I'd need Charizard for the um, Aegislash, but really. I shouldn't have brought both. Is that a crit? That's a crit. That's nice. So I mean, hey, there's still there's still hope. We can knock out the. Uh... Wait, did I click? Okay. For a second, I I, I wasn't sure if I clicked over here or not, and I was I was concerned. I was like, what? I I just couldn't remember, but no, I did. So that's good. So now, uh, Aegislash comes out. <laughs> What's coming out? <laughs> this is so bad. Well, gravity's up, so if Zapdos comes out, I can put it to sleep. I can. I definitely can. But even Tail and Aegislash is not going to outspeed Gengar, so that's the important thing. What's coming out? What's coming out, buddy? What you, I mean, you know what you got to send out. You only have two Pokemon left. Is that DC? Is that DC? No? Maybe? Possibly? I played this one so badly. Please, feel free. Roast me in the comments. That turn one play was very bad. That that crit definitely helped. Like, so much. What's going on? What's going on, buddy? What, what you doing? I guess they're just probably taking their time to think. Because Aegislash is coming out, and what else? Oh, Togekiss. Oh, feels bad. Feels bad, man. So, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I guess, here is if Aegislash has substitute. Because Togekiss. I don't want to protect and just lose Gengar here. That's like worst case scenario. I think, I think I'll just. I think I'll, ugh, this might be a mistake, but I'm going to protect here. Because I think that if you're my opponent. You have you probably want a Tailwind here, but Tailwind's not going to outspeed. Tailwind Aegislash is not going to outspeed my Gengar. Oh, Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Are you Choice Scarf? Okay. There you go. Stance change. Shadow Ball into Gengar. Yes. I think a Choice Locked. In which case. I'm gonna water Shuriken just for damage. And I'm gonna sludge bomb the Togekiss. Because I think that should knock it out. If it's not choice lock, then I'm I'm a fool fool of a took, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And then as long as I knock out Togekiss. Okay, and Aegislash does not protect, which is smart. Risky, but smart. As long as 
Okay, it wasn't Scarf, so I could have just final gambit it. That's okay, it gets knocked out. So even if it was Eevee to survive that, the water shuriken means that it won't. But I've got... It is Substitute Egg Slash. Ooh, tricky, tricky. So basically, but I've got... I've got Charizard, so like... As long as I can break that Substitute, Overheat should, should win the game. So, I mean, this is kind of... How many turns of, of terrain are left? Well, there's one turn of gravity left. So, uh, I was going to say, like, depending on, like, how the misty terrains and stuff end, I could actually just put the Aegislash to sleep. But, yeah, okay. So, it's King Shield. Very, very good King Shield. Shielding the King. I like that. I'm a fan. But now what are we going to do? I think it's the same thing. We just... Like, well, it's a shame we can't acid spray it, because that'd be great. Um, but yeah, it just comes down to, uh, does a uh, overheat knock it out? And I think it does. So we're going to go ahead, order Shuriken, and then Shadow Ball. Because this should definitely break the sub, and then if you knock out Gengar, that's fine. I'll have, what's it called? Charizard. Non-Mega Charizard. <laughs> to win the game. So Excelbor is basically useless here. Like, that was basically useless. I probably should have just led Excelbor uh, Tapu Lele, but eh, what's he gonna do? This should definitely be a Shadow Ball into Gengar, for sure. Mm hmm Into Gengar? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Which does knock us out. Because actually, depending on how you, uh, depending on how you're EV'd, uh, for Substitute Aegis Slash, I actually could survive that. Well, here comes <laughs> normal Charizard. <laughs> Woo! Oh god, this is such a bad, bad time. Let's see here. Alright. So we're gonna water Shuriken. And overheat. Alright, because if you stay in Blade Form, you're gonna King Shield here, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And basically what ends up happening is, actually, do I just want a Heat Wave? Maybe I just want a Heat Wave. Because I don't know if Overheat's going to knock it out. Eh, it should. If it doesn't, I lose anyways. So, whatever. Because it's like, oh, I could play mind games where, like, uh, he's going to attack, I protect, but he's going to King Shield. I just want this game to be over. So, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do it. And you know what? If we lose, we lose. Who cares? Let's do it. For all and we could miss over Overheat anyways. This should do, like... Four damage. That's that's good chip. That's good chip. What if that's all it needs? We hit the overheat. Do it, do it. Woo! We did it. We did it. Worst played game of ladder up. Oh, well, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> but we did it, and that's all that matters. So, anyways, it worked out. It worked out somehow. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, that's it for Ladder Up, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope to see you back for the next episode where I'm going to play this team again because this team is so much fun. Um, and I don't care what you say. So feel feel free to roast me in the comments. I don't care. Uh, until then, have yourself.